Lent is certainly the hardest season, and it's meant to be just that. I would argue by far it's the most transformative season. Hello everyone, I'm Father John Burns, and I'd like to invite you on a journey this Lent into the desert with the Israelites, with Jesus, with the whole church, that we would confront all of those things in our lives that just need to go, because Christ himself is the one who says you can't serve two masters. It's either God or mammon, it's God or wealth, it's God or the things of the world. You can't serve them both. When we move with the church through Lent, but we're guided by the wisdom of the ages, through which we have discerned over centuries of practice, a very profound set of practices, again, that are quite challenging. But when we meet that challenge and we choose to engage it, we always emerge on the other side, uh, more profoundly anchored in the things of God, more stripped away and simplified around the things of the world. That leads us to the type of mindset and heart set that, that rejects something so beautiful as a heavenly inheritance to choose something like sand, dust, and ashes. Something that slips through our grasp, could never parch our thirst, and is not here to last. But it can become so attractive to us if we don't check our gaze, reset our vision, and allow grace to reset our hearts. When we encounter the tempter during Lent, which we will if it's a good Lent, what we notice there is an affirmation, a confirmation that we're on a good track, that we actually are moving toward this return. This is the story of the pilgrimage of life through the valley of tears, through the darkness of suffering, through the agony of death, toward that which he has achieved for us and into which he's gone first, conquering death to bring us life. God's plan is unimaginably perfect, as has been said. But the way he chooses to bring this all about, we just couldn't even dream it up. But it is a pathway of salvation that plays out in each of our stories over and over and over again. Come with me on a journey into the desert, as with the whole church, we pilgrimage toward the Paschal Mystery.